come video. out again yes. uh, in a minute. Now, uh, what is going on with the weather? We've seen uh, what's been happening. A huge yes. gust, aren't they, today? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll talk about the wind gusts in the forecast. But let's first of all take a look at your weather photos. Lorraine Carter photographed the storm damage in Royal Victoria Country Park today in Netley. Angela Walters sent us this shot of hail in Princess Risborough. And Verity Hill captured Mamata's clouds in Weymouth, which are associated with thunderstorms. And we saw some thunderstorms during the course of today. Look at this footage, photographed, well, captured today in Gosport by Nigel Martin. Thank you for sending that video to our Twitter at BBC South Weather. Through the course of today, we've had Storm Noah moving across, moving east as we speak, named by the French Weather Service, but the Met Office have adopted it, so it's UK's second name storm of the season. That's following Storm Otto in mid-February. Here are the wind gusts we experienced today. The needles, a really exposed sight, saw 96 miles per hour. For coastal stretches, over 70 miles per hour. Even for inland areas, between 45 and 62 miles per hour. So really quite gusty conditions right across the south. We've had some lovely rainbow pictures sent into our weather watchers online. We saw this picture taken of a rainbow in Church Hambra by one of our weather watchers through the course of today. As we head through the day tomorrow, we'll see calmer weather, but there will still be some heavy, blustery, even thundery showers and some bright and sunny spells. Further rain or showers will rattle their way through as Storm Noah starts to pull eastwards through this evening. That Met Office warning is still in force for strong winds for southernmost areas up until 8 o'clock tonight for the next hour. Temperatures tonight dipping to around 2 or 3 Celsius for northernmost areas, 6 Celsius for the south coast. So we start the day with some sunshine, slightly lighter winds than today, still a brisk breeze blowing, and it will be stronger and more evident along coastal stretches. We'll see a few showers rattle through. They could be heavy and they could be thundery in places with hail. Temperatures tomorrow up to around 12, maybe 13 degrees, a degree up from today, but still a cool, fresh-feeling day with that brisk west to southwest wind. So for the coastal forecast, the winds are still very, very strong. They are west or southwest, gale 8 to storm 10, decreasing 4 to 6 later, and the sea state is occasionally very rough. So we may see some large waves still along coastal stretches for the next 12 hours. Through the course of Friday, the early hours of Friday morning, tomorrow night, we'll start to see rain move its way in in the form of showers or longer spells of rain, a low of 1 Celsius during the first part of Thursday night. But then as we head towards dawn on Friday, those temperatures will start to rise with the arrival of another area of low pressure. So rain move its way in as we head through the course of Friday. That could be heavy and persistent. But as we head through the weekend, it turns dry with more in the way of sunshine. And next week, we could see a high of 19 to 21 Celsius. Nick. Oh, something to look forward yes, to indeed. Uh, eventually. Now, finally tonight, if you're watching the new BBC drama Great Expectations based on the Charles Dickens novel, you may actually recognise one of the filming locations. It's Buckler's Hard, one of my favourite places, and a popular Hampshire tourist attraction with an extraordinary history of boat and ship shipbuilding from the Battle of Trafalgar to D-Day. Now, the Hard is celebrating 60 years as a tourist attraction. <laughs>